Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Uto Moses here with a new series of videos where I do a critiquing of each film that I want to be able to persuade you to watching. And this is going to be kind of different to my usual reviews that I do because for these ones I'm not going to give you the specifications of what supplements each movie has on video or nor am I going to give you a rating to it so that I wouldn't make you have second thoughts about it. And since this is a different occasion, I just thought I'd do one on the Scream Trilogy. Each of these movies had been about a killer behind a ghost face mask wearing all black who has been stalking its victims while playing a deadly game of movie trivia with them, which would involve death with them, obviously. And so, Neve Campbell plays Sidney Prescott, who had survived most of these killings, along with David Arquette as Officer Dewey and Connie Cox as Gail Weathers, the television reporter, who had always banded up together to try and find the killer, confront him, and find out who he is. This may seem like a cop-out, but I didn't want to do three separate reviews on it, which would take forever for me, and I'm planning to watch Scream 4 this week, so I just thought I'd do a critiquing of on the Scream trilogy, and if you're wondering why I only have the one movie, it's because I'm waiting until they're released separately on Blu-ray, so that I can get all the special features on it, while well, some great quality picture on it, but that's probably not going to come out until Scream 4 does. So now that I have that explained, let's move on. The Scream trilogy had always been a mixture of horror slasher thrills and movie pop culture references, and it has some new deaths, scares, and gore to it, while it builds up the mystery of who the killer might be and what his or her motivation is. And that's the kind of thing that would appeal to a wider audience of people other than just horror fanatics. The first scream would establish the killer of Ghostface, while it would establish the three rules to survive in a horror movie who, that was spoken by Jamie Kennedy's character of Randy, and I believe those three were number one, don't have sex, number two, don't do drugs and alcohol, and three, don't say, I'll be right back. The second would aim at sequel traits that have said to fail in other movies while it worked better in Scream 2, and Randy has re referenced the new rules into the sequel where the body count would go higher and the death scenes would look a lot gorier for entertainment's sake, and there are several occasions where they would reference movie sequels that have been better than the predecessor, and I just like how it followed off from the last movie very well. Part of the idea for the Scream movies came from the Gainesville M Ripper murders and also Wes Craven's paranoia for open windows at night. And for Wes Craven, he's considered to be the masters of horror, even though some of his movies are hit and miss, but for the Scream movies, he really hits it right there since he directed all three of them. And I like how in the first 10 minutes, he would get us, the viewers, really excited for the movie when he kills off the first victim in the first 10 minutes, and they're played by actors that are very famous or very memorable to us, or recognizable, that is. And I like how a lot of the victims seem a bit realistic as to how long they seem to survive in the hands of the killer before they die. And even though they're considered to be stereotypes, but I like how well developed the main cast are. So, if you like these types of horror movies where they have a strong plot and has a plot twist that keeps you guessing till the very end 
and have some nonsensical acting and nonsensical death scenes in it, then the Scream movies I would strongly recommend for you because you'll indeed enjoy these movies. And if you have a bit a bit of money left over, then go watch Scream 4. You tell me